first Samsung Galaxy Ace was a very popular phone last year, and the refreshed version released this summer doesn't disappoint. And don't worry, it still costs under £200. The screen size has been up to 3.8 inches, making it big enough for quick emails, web browsing and watching videos. The WVGA 800x480 resolution is quite a bit better than the previous Model 2. Home screen and app icons are crisp and streaming video was very nice indeed. The processor is now a dual core 800MHz affair and was responsive enough in our time with it and noticeably smoother than other phones costing the same. This one is 122 grams, so 9 grams heavier than the last, but 1 millimeter slimmer. The chassis is made out of a similar material to the previous Ace, and like the S2 to an extent, does feel a bit on the plasticky side. And be careful when removing the back panel as it's flimsy and feels like it could snap easily. You'll only find 4 gig of internal storage on the phone, but you can expand this up to 32 gig with a handy micro SD slot. As we said, video looks great, so we'd recommend watching movies if you'd like to do that on your phone. However, if it's music you want to store and listen to, the speakers did distort a bit at high volume. Unfortunately, the Ace 2 only comes with Android 2.3 Gingerbread, so despite it outperforming rivals in many ways, the operating system it ships with is disappointing. But we can forgive this slightly for the Samsung TouchWiz 4.0 UI, which makes the device feel more premium, reminiscent of something like the S2. However, we're looking forward to the ice cream sandwich update, which should be hitting very soon. If you like to capture lots of photo and video on your phone, then the snapper on this little thing won't disappoint either. Now it's only 5 megapixels, but with integrated autofocus, LED flash and smile detection, it made for impressive results even in macro mode. In conclusion, we've got to say that we were extremely impressed with the Galaxy Ace 2. It definitely feels like a step up from the previous model, and for £200 you really won't get much better for your money.